Good morning, folks. We've got solar storms ongoing. More could be on the way as we dance toward the precipice of seeing electrical trouble from them. Let's waste no time and go to spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day on our star. One more pop central region, followed by hours of quiet. The pop was just the latest to fire solar plasma at Earth. Here at NOAA's Enlil Spiral, we can find two of them due to impact here in the middle to second half of the week. The part of that which is concerning is that this morning, a coronal hole stream and associated magnetic sector are already driving geomagnetic storms, strong geomagnetic storms, up to KP7, which is where things begin to get relevant. Looking at the solar wind, we definitely see the coronal hole stream with the purple speed rising to nearly 600 kilometers per second after that crest and density, orange above that. But this is not a terribly strong stream, so up in blue, we find the culprit. Folks, it's the extra phi angle shifting, the solar wind magnetic reversals, adding to the magnetospheric difficulty in dealing with these moderate streams. We have a level 3 geomagnetic storm. More CMEs are on the way. Technological disruption watch is in effect throughout the week. Meanwhile, in the east, there was a battering of weather. Looks like the sky is falling in this hailstorm, which devastated cars in the region. There was a tornado touchdown as well, causing some damage along with the ambient winds carried with the storm. We also have the flooding continuing to affect the regions along the Mississippi, and that's not due to change here anytime soon. Let's do earthquakes next, or rather, moonquakes. A number of missions have noted the evidence for them, and now that they've heard one seismically a few months ago, they are driving towards the shrinking moon hypothesis, where the modern cooling of its interior is causing it to shrink, cracking the surface and attempting to layer it within each other. Folks, until today, this was by far the most incredible false color shot of Venus, especially as the cloud penetrating radar peered through those clouds. But today we come to another side of the planet, ultraviolet. Looks almost like a cloudy Earth in this view. It's important because this is actually how we need to study the upper level of clouds on Earth. Not exactly a lot of UV devices out in deep space taking those shots of our own planet. Up next, a galaxy turns on. Our galaxy. There is evidence of a phenomenal star-forming outburst well after the actual formation of the galaxy, the sun, and even the Earth. The spheres we know were young, but around them it must have looked like the cosmological nightlight convention, literally in every direction of the sky as the Milky Way came to life. Three cheers to a courageous team from Europe and their friend from Japan for coming out and stamping a flavor of cosmology that is favored by their math over the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model, which is the official top choice of mainstream scientists right now, at least in the public. Last but not least, an excellent video from the European Space Agency highlighting their Earth-observing missions, which are critical to a number of things we track daily, weekly, and over the long term. This includes, most importantly for climate change, data on the large cells that interact throughout atmospheric altitudes so scientists can continue finding every conceivable correlation with solar data. And of course, perhaps the most important mission they have is SWARM. Earth's magnetic poles are accelerating faster and faster. As it's happening, the magnetic shield of Earth is weakening faster and faster, and the next magnetic reversal, or at least extreme excursion, is taking place already and accelerating, building to a crescendo that we can only hope to anticipate. Then again, that is what we do. Basic facts at magneticreversal.org and that Earth Catastrophe Cycle series is much more of the full story. There's a reason I've been telling you to watch it. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.